Here for the 2024 Rolex 24 Hours at Daytona. The GTPs burst onto the scene last year. We wondered if they'd even make the end of the race. Could an LMP2 car sneak a victory? And the GTPs over the course of the season and here at Daytona entertained us royally. Well, They've clicked it up a notch this year, Peter. You bet they have, as is Tom Blunquist. He's three tenths up come at the end of sector two on this lap as they come up towards the stripe again. It, it is just yo-yoing back and forward. That Porsche 963 at the very top, right into seventh gear, it's just got that ever so slight top oh, speed he's advantage. Oh, a little bit long. The lead Porsche there, oh. there, was, there was a tiny moment, and I mean a tiny moment. You could just see the car snaking as... Felipe Nasa was trying to pull the car down to the apex of turn one. This is now coming down to the finest of margins. Six minutes to go in the race. So that's going to be about four laps, possibly five. No. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I don't know. Spare I mean, a thought for the teams, the families, exactly the, the drivers right. uh, who are in the pit. They're watching between their fingers. Just have a think what they're going through right now. Felipe Nasser's teammates, Matt Campbell, Joseph Newgarden, and Dane Cameron. What would it mean to them to get uh, none of the drivers in this number seven car have won the race uh, overall? Mm. So uh, to win, to win overall here would be a real a real highlight in all in four very glittering careers and yeah, two best. team usa alumni jeremy in this car too it's true the, the this best. is close this is close half a second coming out of the le mans chicane is as close as blancvist has been and pick up a little bit of toe from the uh, gt car but it's still not enough he needs to be maybe two and a half Tenths, maybe even closer than that, as NASA pulls out from half a second to a second, but again struggles to pull the car down to the apex of turn one. He's got the AO Porsche number 77 right ahead of him. He gets through on the inside. Blomfist's got to go here and he's not going to make it. He'll have to swing round and then tighten the exit, and that will cost him some speed on the infield. Lauren Heinrich, part of the Porsche. Porsche family and uh, yeah didn't, didn't give the Cadillac much favours there did he? I've, I've, wow. got to, I've got to tell you I think that Porsche is running out of grips Jeremy. Yeah the Felipe Nasser se uh, second place uh, on two occasions here for Nasser each time he set the fastest lap of the race uh, he hasn't got the fastest lap of the race here uh, but he is leading it He'll, tra he'll make that trade. Oh, Are we going to be two uh, to go or three to go here? It's wow. going to be very close. Let's see NASA is getting out of the slower corners very impressively. It was the great Bob Wallach, wasn't it, who always used to say, if you're brave you, and your car's set up, you can get through the quick corners quickly. But if you can get through and out of the slow corners better than your opponent, you're in those slow corners longer. That's where you make up the time. And this was a guy that had to put down the huge horsepower of the 935s and 962s, big turbocharged monsters, and traction out of corners was something that was definitely at a premium there. Traffic again for the leader, swings to the high side. Here comes the Cadillac flashing the lights down into turn one again. This is going to be so tight, whether it's two to go from here or three. Really tight. I think... Too close to call. It was it about 3.12 when they came over the line. flag next time around. OK. So there's just under seven miles to go for the 2024 Rolex 24 hours. And they are both down to 10% of their fuel. I, that was That's tighter okay. than we thought, but I think yeah. it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be all right. But Jimmy Bruni might be in trouble, though. He's, well, he's, he's eased his pace dramatically. He's, uh, in fact, excuse me, the white flag has come out now. What? The white flag is out now. So this what? is the no. last lap. Why? I have no clue. No, it's being shown to the GT cars, isn't it? Well, but Why it shouldn't it? be. Yeah. It shouldn't be. Um, okay. Well, I, I'm now confused. 
I heard the call from race control and I presumed that was yeah. for next time around. Yeah, it there should was... be. We've still got uh, almost two minutes on the clock. That's yeah. plenty of time. Indeed so. I can see the white flag being waved now. So this is Felipe Naza coming round for the final time. The chequered flag is out and the 2024 Rolex 24 hours of Daytona goes to Porsche by about a second from Blomqvist in second place. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of confusion here. And there's still time on the clock by my watch. Yeah. I think they've timed that to 40, to 13.40, but we didn't quite get away at 13.40. We were a tad late on the green flag. So Thankfully, it's not it's going to make any difference because no. uh, on that last lap, Blunk has got held up badly by traffic. Yes, cost he did. Him more than a second, so there was two seconds between them as they crossed the line. Let's just wait for the G LMP2s to come through. There's no sign of celebration down in the pit lane. Now the celebration will go to Shea and Joe in the moment for... No, they've stopped again down in the pit lane. This is extraordinary. We promised you 24 hours and we've got more drama at the end of the race as well. Here comes the Rasmussen era car. This is the blue and silver machine. It's going to be about seven seconds over. Crowd strike through to the checkered flag. And we'll take LMP2. Comes through across the line. Daniel Serra for Risi competition has won in G uh, GTD Pro because EO Racing has taken the checkered flag. And it'll be between Daniel Morad and Mi uh, Miguel Molina. Uh, it's Conquest. Here, come, here they come again to the line with the checkered flag. So they've now won it twice uh, in one afternoon. And there's a lot of celebration. Confirmation then, Aero Motorsport take LMP2, Risi Competition, Ferrari, GTD Pro, and Winward Racing for GTD. Let's go to Shea Adam first of all for some reaction. Gonna have to climb over the wall to try and get back to our drivers because they did not come out to the pit lane with all the crew guys who very mutedly waited on the pit wall for an opportunity to celebrate and celebrate it properly. But now the help up has begun. Matt Campbell is watching.